Hello everybody. I saw a video on Facebook the other day that was posted to YouTube by a guy in a forum that I belong to and his name is Stringsteen. I'll try to post the link. I'm not really sure how to do that but I'll try to find find out how. What he did was he went to the dollar store or not the dollar store, I'm sorry, the thrift store and picked up some items to help desalinate water or to um, distill water. And what he had, what he got was a pot lid which I got from Goodwill, it's red tag so it was marked down today and a jello mold. This isn't the exact one that he had, the one that he had was more narrow at the top so it fit on top of his bottle. What I'm going to try to do is actually put it on top of the billy pot today <clears throat> to see if I can catch some of this steam that's going to pour off the billy pot. And what I'm going to use today is the firebox um, because it's portable and it's small. I don't think this setup would work over a, a large fire just because you don't want the uh, you don't want the jello mold pan to to take on heat or to get too hot. You want it to collect the water and cool. So I'm going to try that today. with my homemade salt water. What I did was uh, I just filled the billy pot up halfway and I don't know how much salt is in the ocean but I've been kind of fascinated about this subject for a while now. I would like to try this myself because I live next to the ocean and it's one thing uh, people in Hurricane Katrina, natural disasters over on the East Coast, and I have experienced with tornadoes devastating the area that I lived in in Texas, was potable water after the disaster. I live in Washington. I, we don't really have that many or those kind of natural disasters up here, but it's always been in my mind just because I've lived through those disasters and I would like to, uh, to not have to suffer. So let's see. That is some salty, salty water. Wow. Okay. So I'll bring you back. I'm going to get this firebox started up and I'll, I'll bring you back. Okay, this firebox is pretty much blazing hot again. Okay, so let's try to put the billy pot on here. This is my first time ever attempting this, and uh, I know there's other methods to do it, but the reason for this is to show you that most of these items aside from the firebox, are items that you might already have in your house. Just about everybody's got a pot. 
and a uh, and a Jello mold. Heck, we used to have one, but I think we sold it at a yard sale. It's because we never use it. So I got the pot on there. My only concern is the flame touching this. But we'll see how it goes. Make sure that's nesting. I'll give you a quick view of this. So you can see the setup. So there's the pot. The nasty water. All nesting on top of the billy pot. So I'll bring the water to a boil and uh, we'll see how it goes. Try to collect some steam and then we'll have a little taste test. Alright, I got water dripping. So let's lift the lid and see what this looks like on the inside. Sorry for the fingers in the camera. Yeah, it's collecting a little bit of water. It's not bad. The water inside hasn't yet boiled. Not, not like a rolling boil. It's only been a couple minutes. But it heated it up fast, that's for sure. Doesn't look like there's any seal broken. So, I'll bring you back in a couple of minutes and we'll see where it's at then. Okay, it's been boiling for about 10 minutes now. The seal seems to be pretty good. It's just the lid. You see, you got drips. The front of the lid is dripping. But it's not bad. I would imagine that most of it is still being collected. Been throwing pine cones and sticks into the stove. If this is something that I had to do long term, I'm sure I could probably find a way to put up with it or make it work better. It needs a little fine tuning, I think. But as to the amount of water, I probably have, I don't know. Couple of tablespoons in there, which is pretty typical for this kind of process, anyways. So, I'm going to continue to play with it and continue to boil water until I get enough that I can test. I'll bring you back. Okay, so I'm gonna let it burn out. Oops. Sorry about that. I'm gonna let it burn out. And I think there are a couple of things that I can do to improve this process and make it better. For one, I need a better fitting, I need a better fitting lid. Two, I think that if I took a hammer and pounded the inside of this ring here down to fit the billy pot better, or if I got a smaller one of these that would actually fit the billy pot, I think that would be better. I, um, but it worked for in a pinch. If I if I had to throw something together to uh, to get this to go, 
I think that worked. I didn't collect much water in here. There's not much in there. In fact, there's a floaty. But I will taste this water to see if there's any salt in it. Now, I didn't fill the pot up high enough to make it splash into this reservoir, so we'll see how it goes. So, wish me luck. Well, it didn't taste great, but it didn't taste like it had salt in it either. So, I'm going to play with it some more, and I'll bring you back when I have something that I think will work better. Thanks for watching.